Welcome to Every Way Woman. So let's get right to business. We're talking women in the workforce and why they hesitate to ask for what they're worth or more money. Why is that, Madison? Well, I think it depends on the woman and what she does outside of her job. So if she works and she's also a mom and she also does all of these other things, sometimes that woman just does. And she doesn't so think she about... Does, she doesn't the, place the value on what she's doing? I'm confused. I mm -hmm. think, yeah. is there a fear of rejection? No, it's not about that? fear. It's just about that's the woman's mindset. I do this and this and this. They don't think about what's my value when I'm a mom. What's my value when I participate in my church? What's my value so when I do in, this? So in a sense, but, maybe they're trusting someone else to understand their value. I know I've done that in the workforce, but I assume that my boss knows. But, but when you're talking about money, and I understand what you're saying, but when mm -hmm. you're talking about asking for money, in HR, I work in HR, traditionally there's a pay equity between men and women. But what happens is we don't, we don't, we're, we're taught from young girls to just kind of be docile and kind of accept, and I guess where you're going, accept what we get. So it's very difficult to say, hey, you know what? My counterpart, who, who's a male, he's making $5,000 more than me. I want $5,000 because it's embedded in our mind subconsciously that, no, you should just be happy with what we give so you. So in this situation, you deal with people maybe who Correct. are asking for raises or adjusting their salaries. Do you, women approach that differently than men? Well, they're viewed as aggressive. I mean, they're, they're literally viewed as aggressive in a workplace. If a woman stands up for what she is, the lean in, the whole Sheryl Sandberg concept. She's aggressive. Um, she should kind of know her place. Um, the undertone is she should be happy that we are letting her sit in the boardroom. And so, so we subscribe to that. So my guy Joe yeah. makes 50000 and I make 40000 and I'm just like, I'm good with that because I'm so happy I'm here. we got to change the mindset. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, but there's also, right now, I think we're in a crisis in a way of identity crisis. I think we're in, a, in an identity crisis. As, as terms of what women's roles are, what men's roles are, and who provides for what. But in the workplace, though, again, I want to encourage women, all those things are roles we play, but you have a worth, you have a value, and there is an importance, and you will not get the raise unless you ask. The days of waiting so, for your boss to come are not there. So when do you know it's a right time to ask, and how do you approach that situation? Well, one, you have to have some deliverables, right? What <laughs> if, do you mean deliverables? <laughs> you need to be productive. If Joe is making $50,000 and he's working a $50,000 level, you can't just say, well, because I'm a woman, there's inequity. I should get $50,000, and you only produce $20,000 worth of work. Right. Well, and maybe that's what you were saying and, you know, having these other roles and what you're already bringing to the job. But if you are bringing something that is equal, how do you have that conversation? I personally, I'm, I'm terrified but, of that. I, I think it's fear of rejection. I'm afraid exactly. to say, you know what? I know Joe it's, Schmo is making $50,000. I'm making forty five. You know dollars I'm not okay Jessica, with that. Men are not fearful of that. You're, you're exactly right. Men are not going to be fearful to so make why that are Yes, I, and, I, and I agree with you in the sense that because nowadays moms, working housewives, all of these people, we play so many different roles. Yeah. And, and that so when it comes to this role in the job, in the workforce, then all of a sudden it's like, well, to, do I have the time and energy? Because I think it's very challenging for anyone. I, I don't believe in the superwoman thing. I don't believe right. a woman can be everything and be right. good at it. So if she is a mom and she does volunteer at the church and she does have a job and she does do this and she does do that, well, is she really giving everything she has to the job where Joe, who goes yes. in, is just Joe? But to that point, mm -hmm. women in the workplace, I still want to submit to you, we have a place, we have a value. The workforce is made of more than 50% of the women. So we have to take our rightful place. We have to sit at the tables. We have to be value added. And here's the other thing. If we want to stomp with the big dogs, we got to look like the big dogs. So so how do you do that? Well, what that means is, and yeah, I hate dogs. to say this because I'm a, I'm a career woman, I may not be able to right now go to my son's play. Not saying that is right. I'm not saying that it's right. But I may have to make that sacrifice for where I need to go. Because what men are saying at the boardroom is, see, you want to be a big pup, but then you still want to have the emotional part of whining and crying they, when you don't get your way. There was a, I was talking to right. a man, he was looking for a partner. He, uh, he, he was um, branching out and he wanted to bring another person in. And he said, I don't want to hire a woman. I, I'm getting all these resumes, but the re best resumes I'm getting are women, but I don't want to hire a woman. And I don't want to hire a woman who's in her 20s or her 30s or her mid, late, early, mid 40s right. nowadays, because I don't know when she's going to decide she that she's going to have a baby and start a family. But she's so, going to go out. Isn't that illegal? 
it, it is, is illegal, but I don't disagree with him actually, because I do. I know. I know. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> no, no. To your point, Madison, I hear where you're going because I do this on a daily basis. I understand the mindset, but what we have to do as women is we have to show an equal camaraderie. To your point, I work with women on a daily basis who say, well, you should just make an accommodation for me because I want to go and I want to do X, Y, and Z. Yeah, maybe we should. Like, we had a conversation not too long about this, that the job should have daycare. I don't think that an employer should have to have daycare. So what's happening is because we're, we're not a daycare, we're an employer. Right. So when you start making those demands as women, because of the mental thought processes, they're thinking as this gentleman, I'm gonna have to deal with this. I'm gonna have to deal with daycare. I'm gonna have to deal with leaves. Mm -hmm. And I don't wanna do it. I'm just gonna bring a man in. What he didn't, right. want, what he didn't want to do was invest. Right. He did not want to invest in a woman because he didn't know what that was gonna look like when she decided, if she decided, maybe she was gonna have children. And sometimes, and we don't make men invest, right? So to this men's position, this, his strongest resumes were women, right? Just so you know, he <laughs> hired a woman. Yes, okay. <laughs> he hired a woman. And, and you know what, he should have a candid conversation. And then you know what that woman needs to do? She needs to go in and produce at the highest level. So do when you, you show you up, hold up. Yes, I do. So when you show up, he's like, man, women are okay. But, you know, okay. argument doesn't happen. Okay, so very personal question then. Do you think that you are paid what you're worth in your jobs? Regardless of every way, woman, we're, we're, talking, we're talking in in the career force, whether you're in or out of it. Do you think you get what you're worth? Right now, I'm getting there. Okay. I, I, I do well. I, I do well for what I do. But there are some things that I have to do more. I have to be more strategic, and I got to sit in the board when I have to sit at the table. All right, Absolutely. ladies, yeah. sit at the table. <laughs> we'll be right back with more every way, woman. Stay tuned.